And the panel made up of our analysts here, Frankie Corrado as well. What's so funny, you're an analyst. It was just the way you were so emphatic about our analysts. Our, our <laughs> analysts, Frankie Corrado as well as Craig Button. We heard a lot of Whitney Houston in this building on this Friday night. Seven goals for the hometown Saginaw Spirit, whose Dream Memorial Cup continues. First time hosting the Memorial Cup, first time Michigan hosting the Memorial Cup, and now here they are through to Sunday's championship final. And you know, this tournament, one of the big things about it is that any given night can have a different hero step up, a different player, an unsung hero. Well, on this Friday, it was all about that fourth line. Sebastian Gervais, Ethan Hay, Lincoln Moore combining for 10 points. Craig coming into this game, they had zero at this Memorial Cup, but apparently they were just saving their best for last. The fourth line was the top line in this game. I mean, they were always going to bring energy. That's what's expected of them. But the first goal of the game and by Hay, and then they just continued to press Moose Jaw. And Moose Jaw, quite frankly, no pun intended, Frankie, just did not ever have an answer for the speed, the tenacity, and the finish that this fourth line showed. They were brilliant, and they were hard to play against. And taking that into the game Sunday night is exactly what Chris Lazario will be looking for. I mean, some people might even say that Ethan Hay had a heyday out there with two, <laughs> two goals and two assists, Frankie. the Tampa Bay Lightning prospect. But the fourth line, the MO of them in this game was highly competitive. They won battles, they won races, and Moose Jaw has a lot of really talented players, a lot of high-end offensive players. We couldn't see them tonight because Saginaw's fourth line stole the show with how competitive and how hard they were to play against. And we talk about energy. As no, the number of times that Whitney Houston was singing, Laura was up dancing too. True. Great, true. great dance it's energy. True. Yep, it's true. Um, who else had a lot of great energy? That defensive group for Saginaw. And it's kind of been a theme, regular season playoffs and now here at the Memorial Cup. Not only are they strong defensively in terms of shutting down the opponent's top players, but they can also contribute on the score sheet. And just a complete group and a very dangerous group at that. And when you say complete, it takes forwards as well. And you know, you talk about Whitney Houston and she wants to dance with somebody. If I was a defenseman, I want to dance with the centerman for the what Saginaw. What is happening players. on this because panel they are right only now? supporting you on the ice and as a defense that's exactly what you want to see and this is part of their game plan for Saginaw they have talented defensemen they have defensemen who can skate with the puck who can make plays with the puck you need your centermen to be involved if you can have your defensemen play that way and that was the case Saginaw played to their game plan exactly how they wanted to Dionisio was great Pache scores a goal you get all the contributions that you need from the back end and that is so important for the Saginaw spirit and how they want to play Zane Parekh was unbelievable Joran Donovan was unbelievable and, and everybody from Hache all the way through to Gao and to Bishop, everybody on that blue line was significant. And the way that Saginaw wants to play with those defensemen up on the play, Chris Lazari says, we want it to be first touch. We don't care who it is. Those defensemen are a big factor in the success of the Saginaw and Spirit. And this was a complete statement by the Saginaw yes. Spirit. Like, they are going to the Memorial Cup final now with the intentions on winning, and they have a chance to win. Listen. You have to beat the champs, and the London Knights deserve to be there. They're the OHL champs, but this is not just Saginaw showing up hoping for the best. This was a statement game by the Saginaw spirit. In the final minutes, the fans were chanting, we want London. Well, that's what you're going to get on Sunday, and yes, it is an all-OHL final, which means for the first time since 2017, we will get an OHL team hoisting that Memorial Cup.